Hi there. Hello everyone. And this is Photoshop tutorials by Sniper Wolf. In this channel you have to learn all the tips and tricks in the Photoshop and Lightroom. So from today a super videos will be uploaded from here. So don't miss it. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get the future videos. Don't miss it. And I got three to four messages, comments in my channel. You are seeing in that on the image only. How do I know which camera filter is for my PS? I am using PSCS 6. So he is a Nikola Sibinovic. So I am answering you in a simple way and it is the best way to work making the decision so open a new tab go to the google.com taking the camera raw filter download type that so the first basic filter base filter of the google help x dot adobe.com so what is it's meant by it's an official release adobe.com from so this is the official download so open that website it is okay so today in photoshop cs cc cc 2015 cc 2017 up to 2017 it is coming out but camera raw filter 9.1.1 is the very latest substituted for the cs6 version users you can see from here could you see this for bridge cs6 and photoshop cs6 substitute with the camera raw 9.1.1 installed below so for the windows five steps will be there for the mac OS, five steps will be there you can download your installer from here in from for windows and mac OS. for the system requirements you must need microsoft windows 7 OS or the operating system of 8.1 or 10. if you download 9.1.1 you can download from here by clicking single click from here or otherwise 9.8 means you can come down if you install 9.8 what will be happening to that some update error some u43m1d24 error encountering will be applied from here in case of that much applicants if you if you are using cs6 after that also i am suffering from this error means one more idea will be available from here please notify this for cc and cc 2415 for the cc versions only please install 9.8 or otherwise install 9.1 that is very good and one more thing after install restart your system first completely two or three times is enough then open your photoshop click the photoshop link check the preference coming to the preference panel so in that preference panel the fourth or fifth one performance it will be there so my i am using my macbook pro in the version very uh, 4 GB RAM only so I allocated 24 14 MB 70 percentage of my RAM board you can use it I give to the Photoshop that is the one so it is the memory available kit for the usage so then the next one graphic processor so some types of using using graphic processor what will be there activating certain features and the interface enhancements will be there it does not enable for the OpenGL. If you are using the OpenGL, it is the different one. But for the bird eye zooming, like we are flick paneling through the pictures and scrubby zooming, Hachiuri color pickers, the rich color info tech, and the sampling. So this type of every equipments for the liquefying, puppet board paint, a smooth band zoom, some type of drop shadow also this kind will be affected by the detected by the affected and it defected by the 
graphic processor only so use this graphic processor for the settings so if you want the advanced setting you can use OpenGL also I am using the OpenGL so and analyzing also you can use this so once you begin this you can put ok for it then again you must restart the system to activate this process why because it is started from the DLL files dynamic link layer files from the system 32 files right maybe you understand these things soon so I hope you are all rectifying this product and uh, this problem and give the maximum one don't download in the third party sites use always official thank you for watching this video see you on the next video bye bye have a great day have a nice time any comments and everything will be there please give that in there. if you are satisfying in this video please comment me and share with my video thank you for watching this see you on the next video